is Dr. Gimbel. This is an old video, but I thought some of you may run into situations like this without the Vision Blue that we have available now. This is a Morgagnian cataract with very liquid cortex. So I've stopped the capsulorexis and aspirating the liquid cortex until we have better visualization. On one case, a number of years ago, before viscoelastics, I punctured the capsule and there was this uh, volcano of liquid cortex coming out, so I just stopped and put in a cannula and started aspirating small aliquots and the whole cataract was liquid and then ended up with an empty bag with a good red reflex to complete the capsulorexis. Here we see we have a brunescent nucleus remaining and as we now progress with the capsulorexis, we run into this fibrotic element on the anterior capsule and can't take the tear any farther. So I use this technique that I've described to enlarge an inadvertently small or purposely small capsulorexis by taking a short cut, careful not to close the tip of the scissors because then it creates an irreg irregular end to the cut but just a small snip to then take the capsulorexis in the opposite direction. A little difficult to see without red reflex with that dense brunescent nucleus. And as we come around now in a clockwise fashion, fortunately there are no more fibrotic bands until we reach that one encountered before and can't tear across it. So we'll use the scissors to cut through that fibrotic element to complete the capsulorexis and then be able to complete the cataract surgery. So you see this is a 1991 video and we have much better ways of visualizing and managing these cases now but I thought this would be of interest.